Good morning, my lovelies. Hope everybody is happy, healthy, safe, and doing well. I am Mystic Jen, and we are going to continue this series on this God-awful conflict in Ukraine with Russia. So, we do know that there are peace talks that are going to be going on. Putin has called for Zelensky to meet him for, or meet with Russia at the border for talking of peace. Okay. Um, however, there was a an attack on Kharkiv that killed a lot of civilians. Uh, there could be some war crimes that Russia could be facing. But today I am going to get the energies for the next 24 hours. And I also want to dig into Zelensky. Is he going to be safe? Is he going to um, make sure he's going to be sticking around that he doesn't get captured, that he doesn't get killed? Because he knows if he gets captured, he's done. Um, Putin will kill him. So, grab your coffee. If you have to pause this video, go grab your coffee or your tea, whatever it is that you're drinking. And we're going to dig in here. Now, may I also remind you to continue your prayers, your positive vibes and energy. Keep the energy levels up. Because unity is what will win this. And there are stories out there that the United States might be helping Ukraine more than what the news is reporting. So I am going to get some energies here. Uh, I've just called to, for some oracle cards. So let's start with the energy oracles and just let's just see what's going to transpire. I want to get an overall feel for what's going on. Okay. We've got the why card. There's a lot of people questioning why. And I feel this is coming from the Russian soldiers. A lot of Russian soldiers have really expressed their concern over this war. A lot of Russian soldiers are questioning why are we in Ukraine. Uh, the Russian soldiers were sent to Ukraine on a false pretense. They said it was just going to be military exercises. A lot of them has expressed that they did not realize it was going to be a full-blown invasion when they went in there originally. And this came from some Russian soldiers that had been captured. Okay, so we have them asking why. Oh, we've got breathe. The here and now. And we got the thinker. Okay, so this here is suggesting to me that the whole world is thinking about this, Putin's thinking about things, but I'm feeling more of the Russian soldier energies. They are really thinking about this, they're caught in their head, and they're questioning, you know, why are we here? This isn't right. A lot of them agree that it is not right. And with breathe, I feel that there's going to be a break, that there's going to be some breathing space for the Ukrainians. Okay. Let's put these back. Nope. Spirit's saying keep them out. Okay. Oh. 
I ended up pulling a different card, not the one that I put back, the yin card. Feminine energy, that's a loving energy pouring out of love. <clears throat> so, what I'm getting is that we cannot to totally blame the Russian soldiers because they were following orders and they were sent into Ukraine on a lie on false pretenses. Okay. Door to spirit. I don't believe the divine is going to allow Putin to get away with what he's getting away with. Strategy. Okay. There is definitely a world strategy here uh, in this conflict because we have a 32 which reduces to a 5 and we have 21 which is the world and also reduces to a 3. Okay. Um, the world card energy is here. The world becoming unified. Door to spirit. I feel that the divine that the universe is going to intervene in Putin's strategy, in Putin's plans. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and dig into the tarot. The first thing I want to see is what is it looking like for Ukraine right now? what's it look okay we have the three of pentacles coming up again today so that is a unity okay the country is unified um, justice and I feel that the what is being done to Ukraine there is going to be justice going to be served page of swords you know and the page of swords is a very strategic you know what I think that Ukraine has a very solid strategy here they've done their research seven of pentacles yeah they've done their research they've done their evaluating of the situation queen of swords and page of cups so the Ukrainians are definitely united. They're fighting this war with heart, with spirit. There's definitely, I feel there is going to, again, I'm getting this sense of a pause coming up. Um, I don't want to say, that I, I mentioned a ceasefire yesterday. I'm not necessarily feeling that is a ceasefire, but things calming down. It's almost like assessing the damage analyzing it because the Queen of Swords investigates too she sees things with clarity okay uh, and I feel like that that is Putin's energy he is an Aquarius that is an air sign but the the feminine side of the Queen of Swords is that patience the Queen uh, Queens are always their impact imp imp empathic and understanding he's definitely in it with his whole heart and that yin energy that feminine energy is that queen of swords that's that love that outpouring of love <clears throat> definitely unity here nine of cups wish fulfillment so, the current energy, okay, is Ukrainians are going to still hold. They're still going to keep their freedom. There might even be some kind of celebration, but it, it's almost, 
the celebration that I'm picking up on here is like a small win. Um, could they? It's like being in control of the airport. Um, I'm seeing this plane or a ship in this card in the sky. And it, it showed me, they showed me the airport. So things are definitely on the Ukrainian side right now. And I said the other day that bitten, that bitten, <clears throat> Putin bit off more than he can chew. Absolutely. He did not expect the Ukrainians to fight like they are. He expected them to roll over and just give their country over. Uh, Putin does not feel that the Ukrainians have a legitimate government. That just came through. That's like really out there. But that's part of his reasoning for this invasion. Okay. Now, I want to look closer at um, Zelensky. Um, about his safety in this matter. Because we all know, okay, the United States offered to airlift him out. And he declined. Because he doesn't want to leave his people. He doesn't want to leave his country. He loves his country. And he's not a typical politician either. Uh, that's it. Zelensky or Putin says, <clears throat> had this idea, oh, Zelensky it will just roll over. He's an actor. You know, artist. He's he's not leadership material, and Ukraine needs a real government. That's what this. That's what that is with uh, the Putin in Putin's head. Okay. Yes, yeah, Spirit just showed me that. Okay, show me what is going on with Zelensky, his safety. I want to know if, if um, Zelensky is going to survive this. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Cups. His people love him. They love him dearly. And the Knight of Cups is somebody offering humanitarian aid out of heart. Somebody is offering assistance out of love for the Ukraine, for Zelensky. Eight of Pentacles. That's sometimes, let me give you a little bit of information about the tarot here for real quick. Sure, the pictures say something. Everything means something. And something that nobody talks about when it comes to a number eight is sometimes the number eight could be blocks and barriers. And that's what this is. Working on a block, on a barrier. A barrier of protection. And we have the Six of Swords. So, the Six of Swords is stay, uh, not being in harm's way. The Six of Swords is a sense of victory, of moving away from conflict. I'm not seeing him running. I see him moving. I feel as though people say, come stay here or come stay there. And I feel that Zelensky kind of moves himself around because if he stayed put in one space, one place, it would be easy to target him. He's no dummy. He may have been an actor. He may have been an artist. He may not be your typical politician. But he's no dummy. He's smart as attack. Sharp as attack. He is sharp as attack. 
So he is moving around. He's a moving target, not a stationary target. Okay. And wherever he go, goes, he has a lot of protection around him. Eight of Swords, or Eight of Wands, I'm sorry. Um, he stays in constant communication with his people. This is saying he is definitely a target. Okay. You know, I was saying that they were moving around. It's almost like <clears throat> Putin thinks that he ha knows where Zelensky is and targets that and, Zelensky and Zelensky's not there. That's the energy I'm getting. He, Putin keeps missing his target. Five of Cups is a loss. Remorseful. I, I hope this is not what I... I hope this doesn't mean he's going to get captured. But the Five of Cups is mourning. Judgment. Oh, okay. I see what this is. Some of Putin's energy is coming in here. Putin is going to face judgment for his deeds, for the loss of life, for all his crimes that he has committed. He is going to regret. Okay. Zelensky is going to make Putin regret ever invading Ukraine. I said, you heard it here. Okay. That's what that card is. Here comes the Three of Pentacles again. That's that unity. That's working together. People working together. Queen of Cups. He's got a divine partnership. We have to... Wow. Queen of Cups. Yeah. Unity. This is it, folks. Everybody's uniting. Everybody's supporting Ukraine. And all the love. You know, divine heaven sees that. Okay? Heaven sees that. And this and the deeds that are being done in Ukraine is not going to go unpunished. Temperance, I like seeing this energy. That is a healing energy. That is a patience energy. I do I am not seeing death at all for Zelensky. No, I am not seeing any death for him. Nine of Swords, he's worried, he's concerned, he's afraid he could end up killed in this. But I get this energy of, uh, yeah, Hierophant, his faith. Very spiritual person. Knight of Pentacles. Loyal following, he's loyal to his country. Power, those are the explosions with the Queen of Swords. Zelensky has a surprise. Okay? Zelensky has a surprise for Putin. And, Pu and Putin doesn't see it coming. There is strength in truth. And there's that Four of Swords, which is representing peace to me. So there is definitely, that's representing the peace talks. But Zelensky is going to be very firm, very strong. And the, the strength card is representing Putin's, or Putin, I'm sorry, Zelensky's. The strength card is representing Zelensky's courage. Putin is overconfident here. But he's in for one hell of fuck. A big, huge fucking surprise. Putin is going to be facing karma.
Okay, they're showing me Okay, I get it. Okay, I just got a download from Spirit. I just got a channeling from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael came through. Um, <clears throat> and what Archangel Michael is saying is not only are the soldiers asking why are they in Ukraine Spirit's going to answer the why as to why this is going on what everybody is saying what other readers are saying from what I hear on little bits and pieces I did watch like five minutes of this video five minutes of that video just to get a feel for what other people are saying but not going deep into it because I don't want to be influenced okay but to answer the question, why? This had to happen. This was meant to happen. This was divinely mapped out. Don't click off, no hate yet. Why was this divinely mapped out? Why did Spirit allow this invasion to happen? It's all about unity. The world has been so divided so much hate going on across the globe around the globe okay all over the world and this was God's way of saying okay enough is enough I'm not fucking taking this anymore you guys everybody's got to come together this I did not design mankind I did not design it. I did not bring mankind into existence to be divided like this. The divine is about love. And that's what this is. This war had to happen in order to unite the world. To unite mankind. So, that's what I wanted to look into today. I, want, I, definitely, I wanted to look into Zelensky, and Spirit has answered the question, why? Okay, we are going to get a few other cards to see if there's anything else, what else Spirit may want to say about this. Oh, I got my little divider out, and didn't need to do that. So I keep my deck separate. Okay. I've got to get, get some, a few other cards and then call this a read. Okay, we got the um, the magnifying glass, it's kind of funny there's a map on it, I'll show you that again in a minute, okay, um, actually it looks like a person, it reminded me of a map at first. And we got the whip. The key, the key to all of this is history. That's what Spirit's saying. This is history in the making. And it's history coming back around. It's history repeating. Keep a watchful eye. A very old 
issue, old conflict. Okay, they are saying to me that Putin has had this planned. Not for months, not for weeks, not for months, but years. He was waiting for the opportune time to strike. This has been something that has been in his mind for a long time that's been deeply seated for many years. So, there we have it. That's what I have for you guys for today. Again, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat. And please, please share my videos out there. Get the word out there that I am speaking truth. I am telling you like it is. I'm not sugarcoating. And you're going to hear shit on my channel. You're not going to hear anyplace else. Anyhow, I will leave you at that. And I send you peace, love. And everybody watching and everybody around the world, all the Ukrainians, big virtual hug to you all. And I'm going to leave it there. Love you all. Blessed be.